Hello again and welcome to another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be talking about lesson 1.2, adding integers. In your notes today you're going to be looking for six different things that you're going to be writing down. Some of the questions will have a few extra things for you to try, like you might have question four parts A, B, and C. Just make sure that you try each one and then we'll be good to go with our notes. Let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing you must know about adding integers is the rules for adding integers. Actually, there's two rules, so are the rules about adding integers. And it's really easy to remember the rules because we learn a song, and the song goes to the tune of row, row, row your boat. Here we go. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the larger value, then you'll be exact. Now you're going to sing it with me. Ready? Here we go. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the larger value, then you'll be exact. Make sure you write this down. I'm going to give you a chance to pause the video so you can write all this song, what the song means and down, and then we'll be going through it so that you know exactly what to talk about and what to do as you're seeing some of these adding integers problems. Go ahead and take the time now to pause and then press play once you're done. The next thing we're going to look at is what happens when we see same sign. So the part of the song that we're focusing on is same sign, add and keep. Same sign, add and keep. Both of these examples up here, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, and negative 2 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 7, both have the same sign. These are both positives, 2 and 5, and these are both negatives, negative 2 and negative 5. Notice how we got the answer was that we wrote that we added both of them because it says here in the song, same sign, add, and keep the same sign. So you're essentially just adding the two that have the same sign and then keeping that same exact sign. If they're both positive, you keep them positive. If they're both negative, you keep them negative. This is what you've actually been learning all along. So you actually learned how to do adding positive integers. We're just kind of throwing in the opposite of that, adding negative integers. Go ahead and take the time now to pause the video and write down what you see on the screen. Once you're done, click play to go on. Here you're going to see me try an example. This, is, says, this one says negative 2 plus negative 4. Use a number line to check your answer. From the song that we just sang, same sign, add and keep. These are same signs. So I'm just going to add them, 2 plus 4 is 6, and then keep the same sign, keep the negative. It does say use a number line to check your answer. You don't have to do this all the time, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here's the negative portion of the number line. It says negative 2 plus negative 4. So I'm going to start at negative 2 and move four spaces in the negative direction. Negative would be left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice how when I moved four spaces, in the negative direction, I got to negative 6 when I started at negative 2. So this would be how you would show your answer or how you could show your work if you were asked to. The next one, part 3, you're actually going to try. So go ahead and take the time now to pause the video and try part A, B, and C of this question. I kept the song up here so that you'd remember this part in the song. Same sign, add and keep. Go ahead and take the time now to pause and try it. Once you're done, click play to check your answers. Here we go. All of these, if you've noticed, have same signs. The 7 plus 13, both positive. Negative 8 plus negative 5, both negative. Negative 20 plus negative 15, also both negative. What our rule is, is it says same sign, we're going to add and keep the same sign. This one should have been easy. 3a is 7 plus 13, that's equal to 20. They're both positive, the answer remains positive. Letter b says negative 8 plus negative 5. Both negative, same sign, add and keep the same sign. Negative 8 plus negative 5 will give me negative 13. And then the last one on this page, 
3c, negative 20 plus negative 15, both negative, same sign, add and keep the same sign. So negative 20 plus negative 15, that's going to be negative 35. How did you do? The next part of our song talks about whenever we have different signs. The song goes like this. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the larger value, then you'll be exact. In this part, part four, you can tell that we have different signs. An eight and a negative 10. A negative 13 and a positive 17. When you have different signs, it's going to subtract to get the correct answer. Then to keep the correct answer, you're going to keep the sign of the larger value. <clears throat> this technically means the larger absolute value because you can see here, eight plus negative 10. Eight is technically the bigger number, but there are more negatives with the 10. So I have a negative 10, which means it's gonna overpower just eight simple positives. When I subtract 8 and 10, I get 2, and I'm going to keep the 2 negative because there are more negatives here with the 10 than there are the positive 8s. Same thing is true for this one right here next to it. Negative 13 plus 17, different sign subtract. When I subtract 17 from and 13, I get a difference of 4. The reason why 4 is positive is because 17 is positive and there are more positive numbers in 17 than there are the negative 13. Go ahead and take the time now to pause the video and write down what you see on this slide. When you're done, click play and we'll go on to the next part. Part five is gonna talk about something called the additive inverse. It's still technically representing this portion of our song Different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the larger value, then you'll be exact. Because additive inverses just means that it's a number and it's opposite being added together. When they are added together, they just equal zero. Kind of like six plus negative six. You're still different signs, you're still subtracting them, you're still getting zero. The same thing is true for negative 25 plus 25. Since they are opposites, you're always going to get zero. Here is a time now to pause the video, write down what you see on the slide, and then click play once you're done writing to go on to the next slide. Here you're going to see me practice a few of these and I'm going to refer back to the song that we sang to keep, keep reminding myself about the rules. This part A says find 5 plus negative 10. Are these same signs or are they different signs? They're different signs, so I'm going to subtract them. I know 10 take away 5 is 5, but how do I remember if it's supposed to be positive or negative? I know it's supposed to be negative because there are more negatives with the 10 than there are the positive 5, so my answer for letter A will be negative 5. Letter B says find negative 3 plus 7. Are they same signs or different signs? Since they're different signs, I'm going to subtract them. Right. 7 take away 3 is 4. How am I supposed to know that 4 is positive? 4 will be positive because there are more positive 7s than there are with negative 3. The last one, letter C, notice that this is an additive inverse, so that means they're just going to cancel each other out and equal zero. You could have also said they're different signs, so I'm going to subtract them and I get zero. You cannot make zero a negative number and that's something we'll get into later on in the school year, but just so you know, you can't ever have zero as a negative number, so therefore it's just regular zero. I'm going to skip that one. So this one is where you're going to practice by yourself. This is I think the last part of your notes, so go ahead and try number six, parts A through F. You're going to pause it and try those first. Here, here you can see the um, song, just so you remember the words and the rules. Once you're done, click play and then check your work with me. All right, here we go. Let's check it. 
9 plus 4, that's really easy. You grew up knowing how to do that. That one's going to be equal to positive 13. Letter B, negative 8 plus 13. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Those are different, so I'm going to subtract them. And when I subtract them, I get 5. I'm going to keep it as a positive 5 because there's more positive 13s than the negative 8. Letter C, I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract them. 10 take away 6 is 4. This 4 is going to be negative because the negative 10 is much, there are more negative 10s, or sorry, there's more negatives than there are in the 10 than there are in the 6. Letter D, I have same signs, so I'm going to add and keep the same sign. Adding 5 and 1 makes 6, keep the negative. Letter E, I have 12 plus negative 8. Different signs subtract. When I have different signs, I subtract them. That gives me 4. It's going to be a positive 4 because there are more positive 12s than there are negative 8s. The last one, letter F, negative 14 plus 14. That's my additive inverse. They're going to cancel each other out and get 0. Or you can just subtract them, still getting 0. How did you do? That's going to be the end of our video. Make sure you look at the board to see what you're supposed to do to, do to next. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you later.